th this is going. To, we're going to make. We're going to make the body out of coral, uh, out of EVP foam. The, the body will sit. The body will sit here. It will attach to the tail, which is back here. And there's another. So this is the inboard section of the wing. So we shift the inboard section of the wing to one piece. These, this piece, and these pieces out here, which become the primary feathers of this thing, and which are which are sloped up, are this this piece comes off. And in fact, that's it detaches. What, it detaches right here. In fact, what 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 this EPP foam uh, is is all about is the fact that this. This sticks out and forms a, a joiner section for this thing. So you got another golf club shaft that plugs into this that carries the outboard section. So, and so the idea here is also that you can. What do you get to? Another golf shaft. So another golf shaft. They're just interlocking golf shaft. So you can pull this thing apart, and you can't. <laughs> On the final assembly of this thing, we're gonna we're gonna take spider wire and and and, and sew it all together. So, but right now it's it's still floppy because we we have we have we have the wiring on the inside and, and other other kinds of things. So, and this thing just this thing just pops out. So if you can imagine this, the outward section and the primary feathers, which come out to here like this. Will be on each side, so we, we essentially we, we can ship in three sections. And so this thing, this this EPP part, just just forms a a, a place to uh, <coughs> to hook it together with. And then we just and we just tape it tape it back together. When it's done. What the drawing? What the drawing? This is a. These are ornithologist drawings of, a, of an Indian condor. Uh, they're about three meters. Uh, so I blew up the drawings, and so essentially we created the, the wing plan for them from from these drawings. And I mean, a lot of just for shaping on the tips. The tips will be solid. They won't be they won't be individual feathers like this. But and then there'll be ailerons in the outward section. So this outward section gets. It's a set of ailerons like, like Rocky shows on, on, on his. It's a little more than a flying wing, isn't it? Well, it's yeah, it's, it's kind of a flying wing with an elevator on the back of it. But hopefully, if the bird can fly, this can fly too. The reason was that we did the EPP foam on the inside, you know, we hot wired this out, is because this thing is big enough to where. It, it, it was kind of sloppy without some kind of rigidity in it, so we could make a, you know, so we could make it conform to a wing section. So we ended up putting this stuff inside. Are you going to be in South America anyway? Or you're going to try to trip? Well, yeah. The, one of the primary reasons, well, I don't know, one of the reasons for going down is that I promised my friend, who's the Indian condo researcher, the next time I came down, I'd bring something to fly. <laughs> so, so, this is it. we surprised. <laughs> well, I think we've been talking about it. He, he's very interested. He made a movie of, of, of him flying with paragliders with condors. He's really, he's very interested in interacting with these birds. So I said, well, this is a pretty good way to do it. We'll just create a bird and, and I can get a video camera and stick in the nose of this thing and, and we can photograph things while we've got a chance to attack it. No, they're not they're, they're they're not that kind of bird. They're they're carrying eaters. They don't their their claws are kinda of like turkey claws. They don't have talons like hawks do. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, no, no, go ahead. <laughs> um, I talked about adhesives a little bit and how adhesives are, are sometimes problematic with this stuff. Um, Regardless of what adhesive you use, you need to clean the surface first. There are apparently bonding agents that, that are on the surface of the stuff. 
Windex seems pretty good at taking them off. Dan uses alcohol to clean his uh, before he applies glue or tape. Um, I've always used Windex. I, this one did. Uh, this one did come apart. You, you can imagine there's a lot of pressure on this trailing edge joint here, uh, and all it is is a thin piece of tape. You know, that's maybe a half an inch of surface. And, and this tape popped loose, so my trailing edge popped loose a little bit on this one. But it lasted six months before that happened, so you know, and you put new tape on it, that's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, is all that tape that uh, cross? All the tape that I use, yeah, is, is that kind of stuff. Um, Double film. Goop, like shoe goo or household goop, uh, they work very well with this kind of stuff. Again, clean it first. And also hot melt glue. Uh, Dan uses a, it's a light brown glue stick uh, that I think is made for furniture. It's made for uh, woodworking. Um, and it, and in, if you have an adjustable heat gun, use it on the high setting. So that glue is very, very hot. Put it on and clamp it quickly and don't move it until it's cool. Um, and again, clean it before you, before you glue it. Uh, some people use a heavy duty stapler, like an office stapler with a big, uh, big handle on the end of it, and just staple the trailing edge together. I mean, that's another option. Or sew it like we did, uh, like we did that one. For fuselages, um, you, can, you can actually roll one up out of coroplast. Um, you, can, you can fold it, if you picture, if you picture this is two sides of the fuselage, so use your, your handy dandy cutter and just cut it, fold that side up, make another cut here, and, and fold up a square fuselage. You can, you can make it all out of coroplast. Um, golf club shafts again, aluminum channel, um, PVC gutter pipe is something that's pretty common for the powered uh, SPAD planes. Guys that put gas motors on them uh, like the uh, it's called Canadian gutter pipe, and it's a PVC product that's about two and a quarter inches square. I have not been able to find it here locally, and uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's, they that's not even in their catalog. So, um, still looking for that one. For tail sections, usually four millimeter coroplast is what you use there. Um, the thin stuff would tend to flutter. Uh, certainly, it's it's a lot floppier. Um, for securing servos in the wing, uh, for this one example, uh, for example, um, I used uh, cable ties or zip ties. So that's what these are right here. There's one going across the servo and then one going perpendicular to that one. Um, Dan had never used cable ties and didn't know what they were. This is, this is <laughs> what a cable tie is for anybody who may not know. Um, and they seem to work fairly well. I, I, I haven't noticed he, any. He's now using them in the ER. Thank God he's not using them. Again, with, uh, with the control surfaces, you always want to run the flutes along the span of the control surface. So if this is the elevon, the flutes run this way. Don't, don't run them this way. It'll be too, uh, it'll be too flexible. Where you install the, the control horns, like right here, you can take a bamboo skewer, uh, the kind that Carlos likes, and cut a small piece of that and slide it in the flute to the point where you're going to put the screws. That way when you tighten the screws down, it doesn't just crush the chloroplast. It's got something to, to bite on. And that's what's inside these. Um, For decorating, obviously you can you can leave them uh, you can leave them like that. Dan likes the markers and and he's got vinyl stickers on his that that seem to hold up real well. Um, other alternatives.